Here are some of the strategies we use to protect real estate from lawsuits. Number one, land trust for privacy of ownership. Number two, LLCs for lawsuit protection and asset protection. And finally, equity stripping to strip the equity out of that property so there's nothing left to take. So how do we decide which one to use? What we do is we have a six point checklist. I'm gonna go over that with you now to determine which particular strategy to use or if we use multiple strategies. The first is asset protection. That is when somebody sues you personally, are your assets protected from seizure? Is your real estate protected? And are your other assets protected from being taken away in a lawsuit? Number two is lawsuit protection. When there is a lawsuit on the property itself, let's say you're sued for more than your insurance covers, which happens every day. When there's a lawsuit on the property, are you protected from that lawsuit taking your personal assets away from you. So lawsuit protection. Next is equity protection. Now, when there's a lawsuit in the property, is the equity in that property protected from being taken away and seized in that lawsuit? Number four, taxes. Are we minimizing excise taxes when transferring the property into a new entity? And are we minimizing income taxes and capital gains taxes? For example, are we killing your personal property tax exemptions when you own a property and you live in it, for example? Or are we ensuring that you get to keep a certain amount of the profit from the home you sell that you lived in tax-free? Number five, the due on sale clause. Are we minimizing the risk of a mortgage being called up on the transfer of the property? That is the due on sale clause. Number six, privacy. Are we keeping property ownership private to avoid being targeted by litigants or disgruntled tenants? 